Hey guys, this is Aqua Mods, um, also known as Terrence. Um, this is going to be a video for educational purposes. It's a video on teaching you guys how to unban an RGH. Um, this is a MacBook Air, so it's still possible, I think, on any computer. Um, but this is just my tutorial because I just think this works the best for me. Um, so if you guys, you know, want a really easy way, just continue to watch and we'll pretty much, we'll go from there. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the Xbox on. Takes a little while. <laughs> there it goes. So, as of right now, this console is banned and I'm gonna show you guys right now um, so what you're gonna do is go to homebrew after that you want to go to Xbox 360 dashboard and I'm on a stealth server right now I'm on cryptic live and uh, what you're gonna do is just go down to the network settings. I'm on a wired. And you wanna test your Xbox Live connection. And this is how you know your console band or not if it doesn't connect to Xbox Live. It'll connect to the network. It'll connect to the internet. Um, I believe if you have a stealth server. But it won't connect to Xbox Live because the console's banned. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to uh, the dashboard on the original uh, Dream Theme. So, this is what I do. I go down to Homebrew. I go to FX Menu. Press in the dash Xbox button or press B. And now this is what I do. I go to HDD1. Okay. I delete the CPU key. So you press Y. Press delete. Yes. And then I go to HVChallengeDump.bin. Press Y delete yes and then last but not least kv bin kv dot bin we're going to delete that okay now your xbox um rgh has no kvs on it or anything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh the flash drive that I have and a computer so I'm actually gonna one second I'm gonna plug this into the computer right here and then it pops up as no name now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click this so it pops up See, as you can see what I just deleted on the Xbox 360 on the RGH is still on here. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna move that to the trash. I'm gonna move this to the trash. Whoops. There we go. So now on the flash drive, I have nothing on it except for the stuff from my phone. So what I did was I went to my Facebook and I went on Messenger and I had a KV file on Messenger from a friend. I bought a KV. And what I did was I dragged it 
to right there. So what you guys are gonna do, you're just gonna move. You're just going to take the flash drive and put it in your Xbox. And then you're gonna go to FX menu. And then we're gonna copy the CPU key from the USB. So you copy it, HDD1, paste. Okay. Now you go back to your USB, wherever the heck it is. There it is. And you take the KV and you copy and you go to the HDD one and then you paste it. And then that's all you do. You turn your console off. And then this is what your Xbox should do if you did it correctly. It's supposed to turn off and then turn back on. It's basically resetting your KV. See, it turns off. And then it's gotta shut off like that. And then it restarts. And then, that's all you have to do, pretty much. Um, there's actually one more thing. <laughs> so you wanna make sure you test the Xbox Live connection. So I'm just gonna show you guys that um, I unbanned my console. So I go to Homebrew. I go to Xbox 360 dashboard. I go all the way down to make sure you skip the sign in or you get banned like instantly, I think. You go to system, network settings, same thing like before, wired, test Xbox Live. And this time I will be on Xbox Live because I just unbanned my RGH. So guys, I do want to thank you for watching the video. I hope this helped. I know it wasn't the best video uh, quality ever, but seriously guys, thank you so much. And uh, I hope this helps you. Have a good day, have a good day guys.